What is going on guys? It is your boy Bayer2K and I'm actually live on Twitch right now so that's why you guys are seeing the chat on the screen. However, this video I'm going to be showing you guys how to complete all these spotlight challenges very fast and very easy. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, if you go over to this challenge screen and the spotlight screen, there is a bunch of new spotlights for every single team. This is actually how you guys do get that free uh, Galaxy Opal James Harden. So we've actually been going through some of these challenges and I figured I would make this video and kind of teach you guys how to do this pretty fast and pretty easily. Um, only things I'm going to tell you guys is one, the current Brooklyn Nets playbook is the best playbook to do this. I've made other videos on this, but again, I'm going to be telling you guys this now current Brooklyn Nets. That's it. This says Nets playbook. It's a bronze playbook. Um, you guys can see yeah, like each challenge is going to have different requirements as far as what players you're using and stuff like that. So this one, I have to use five Sixers players. Um, and then it says win the game and hold the Rockets under 60 points. Now, I don't know what um each challenge is going to be or what every challenge is going to be so there might be some where you have to you know dunk the ball a certain number of times there might be ones where you have to grab rebounds whatever it is this quick through sts play that i've talked about a lot in other videos is very clutch and is very solid so we're just going crazy with the follows and the subs up on youtube absolutely insane um but yeah so i'm actually gonna take the chat off the screen now just because, um, yeah, you know, I'm trying to talk through it. I'm reading some of the messages. It's pretty awesome, not gonna lie. But yeah, we gotta chill for a second. So, quick through STS, all you have to do is just pause the game. You're gonna scroll down here to offensive settings. And then when you come over to play selection, I always do it on the number one spot. You're gonna scroll down um, and you're gonna hit quick through STS. Simple as that. Now, depending on who you wanna run it through, you hit triangle or Y if you're on Xbox to assign the play to whoever doesn't matter i'm not going to assign it to anybody but this play basically gives you a free um it gives you like basically just free offense on doing basically anything it can give you rebounds it can give you dunks it can give you like assists really in a way whatever you need it can basically help you out so i don't know what these challenges are going to be for but like i said i'm going to show y'all this one is all i have to do is hold them under 60 points which is very easy. It is on All Star, I believe. So all all you have to do to set it up is you're really gonna come over to Freelance. I always just put it on Hawks 2018, so it's spaced out the floor like this. So you guys can see. You're gonna hit L1 or LB if you're on Xbox. Click through STS, and you guys will see the play will run it itself. So if you guys need points, you're just gonna call the play through that player. They're gonna cut in. Boom! You get a free dunk at the rim. Basically every time. Sometimes you will get bumped. I don't really recommend doing it with a smaller player like AI. Um, if you would like cheap and reliable MT, be sure to head over to NBA2KInc.com. Use code BIO2K for 5% off your final order. There are guys like, you know, on this team, like I, I could probably run this play with Ben Simmons and score every single time. So I'm going to show you guys this. Just again, quick through STS. We're going to run down here. So say I needed assist with AI. You can call it with anybody else and your point guard will actually be the one to get the assist. So if you need assist, that is the best way to do it. Um, again, Ben Simmons is like one he's a bigger player so you can do it like like him um Giannis depending on what team you're obviously doing will depend on what player you use but it's very easy like I said you get easy dunks every single time if you need assists like I did say just run it through anybody else and your point guard will get the assist so again I'm gonna just run the play oops that's not the right one we're gonna hit quick through STS it's over here so we're just gonna wait for AI the second you see the uh, little thing come up you're gonna pump fake the ball. It always helps me get a little bit more open. And you guys can see you get wide open dunks every single time. It gives you assists, like I said, if you do need. Um, and on top of that, if you guys do need um, dunks, it's great for that. And rebounds, especially. If there is rebounding challenges for whatever reason, you guys can see like how open he gets. So what you guys can do is when you call this quick through STS play, you're gonna come here, pass it. And then right here, you're gonna try to shoot the ball like and get a really terrible release. So when you miss, you're right there for the rebound and it works out very nicely. So basically just some tips right there um last thing i'm gonna say though on how to beat these really quick and efficient um because like i said that is like my main goal if you guys don't know like i said i am streaming right now and the whole point of me doing the stream is i'm not gonna end until i'm done so you guys could be seeing this video 10 hours from now and i'm probably still gonna be live on twitch the link to that and, and all that stuff is in the description um but yeah so i'm gonna be here grinding out these challenges if you guys have any questions feel free to pull up to the stream you know what I'm saying? Say hi, say what's up, do whatever you got to do. But uh, yeah, tips on doing these efficiently. When you get under two minutes in, or yeah, if you get under a minute in the quarter, the time actually stops. So you don't want the timer to stop. You never want that to actually stop. Because if that stops, obviously you're going to be wasting more time. So real quick, you want to make sure you get out to the biggest lead you can as fast as you can. Because for the most part, it'll prevent them from calling a lot of timeouts and stuff like that. 
which will obviously again stop them from slowing the game down they might call one right here because they normally do when you hit 10 points if it's like an eight point lead or whatever um but yeah if you extend the lead out right away it will help you out it will give you guys like you know a little bit quicker time on beating these um and again under a minute left do not score like what it doesn't matter how close the game is i unless it's like the fourth quarter obviously like see right there i just scored under a minute and they call a timeout so it's like a freaking double whammy so it stops the game from that and from the fact that you know it's under a minute so don't score under there um this challenge i have to hold them under 60 points they scored two points in the first quarter and i haven't even been paying attention so it really shows you guys how easy it is to really stop teams from scoring um but yeah even like you know foul calls and stuff like that i will literally just walk up and flop like when they get close to the thing i will just fall down like that it basically forces them to shoot and like get into shooting animations um the reason why i do that is like i said so there's no chance of fouls or anything like that um and you really do just want to make sure that you're doing that again when it's under a minute i literally just sit here and run the whole entire shot clock down um i will shoot it at like the last little bit just to kind of ensure myself getting some points um, but basically I do almost anything to make sure that um, we're not stopping the clock or anything So it's gonna hit like two seconds here, and then we're just gonna chuck up a terrible shot Ben Simmons Okay, he doesn't get the board which is fine, but the clock is still moving that is like the main point of this um, Just easy ways to get this efficiently and stuff like that um, Just some tips on how to make MT with this sort of stuff too If you guys do have a lot of silvers be sure to sell them now a lot of people in the chat are talking about how they are going for like Super like they're they're expensive I'm not gonna lie, they're, they're they're crazy how expensive they really are. Silvers are selling for like 15k again. It's actually pretty crazy. So make sure that you guys are doing that and trying to flip them for some MT profits and stuff like that. Um, and yeah, um, as far as any other questions go, like I said, feel free to pull up to the stream. Um, a lot of the games are like the only requirement really is to win. Um, and then it's like use three players, then use four players, then use five players. As of right now, I haven't completed a team yet. I'm assuming that when you get done with a team, it's gonna be um you're gonna have to what's it called like when you get done with a team you're gonna have to uh, use like or on the last game of a team you're gonna have to use the full thing so we'll see what happens there um yeah like i said right there too he greens a shot i'm not really worried about that because like okay he greened it whatever like it is what it is but the computer misses a lot of wide open shots um so don't stress about that last little tip too don't bother driving in honestly like unless like it's that quick through sts play do not bother even trying to attack the rim and stuff like that because if you do that what's going to happen is you're going to get foul calls and stuff like that and you really don't want that so they're kind of scoring a little bit more here which i'm actually going to have to pay attention to apparently because i really don't want them scoring 60 points and us having to restart on that so that would definitely suck but you know i'm not really too too worried so again thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys did enjoy um again Brooklyn Nets playbook, best playbook to do this. It's the only playbook that has quick through STS in it. The play, the price of the playbook is probably going to go up for me making this video, but it was relatively, relatively cheap again. Um, so if y'all are in the chat right now, I really suggest that you guys pick up this playbook. Um, outside of that though, I actually do know of another playbook that you guys can be using. I will uh, make a video on that very soon. Um, and it's actually good for online and offline. So we'll actually see, um, how well that goes but outside of that um yeah you don't need to worry about defensive settings on these you don't need to worry about offense or anything like that if you guys do need help preventing them from scoring just like literally it's it's as easy as reading plays like that the computer is not like online they don't really like pump fake all that much they're not going to try to bait you or anything like that it's literally just as simple as you know reading what they're doing shutting them down and sometimes honestly just letting them shoot because they will miss wide open that's like by far my favorite thing about playing the computer is like you can literally just run up and flop like i said and they will miss of course harden just gonna light me up now that i'm talking about that but i don't know maybe it's just because it's the galaxy of harden and it just makes you really want it you know what i'm saying so who knows but uh yeah that's basically it um yeah i'm just kind of rambling at this point i kind of uh wanted to keep this short and simple but at the same time you know what i'm saying you got you got to make it 10 minutes is it Harden, what is happening? I think I actually might have to pay attention because this man is going off on the main stage right now and he's actually going to freaking drop 60 on me alone. Like, this man's literally backpacking his team out here. This is crazy. And it's a five point game. I didn't even realize it. Yeah, I'm just going to shut up. I, I, yeah, I'm just going to stop talking. Hey guys, before this video ends, I did just want to let you guys know that I did recently get partnered, and obviously, most of you guys already know that, but I'm going to be live streaming almost every single day, all day um depending on whatever we're playing um well, obviously just depend on my mood for that day but my twitch is on the screen twitch.tv slash bio 2k with an underscore and you guys can see it on the screen um and then also obviously i do have a twitter if you guys 
want to drop a follow over here as well. The links to both of those are going to be in the description down below. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and uh, yeah, peace.